Tulane provided the first test on the road in the Superdome, the first time a Clemson football team had ever played indoors. And despite the distractions, the Tigers showed remarkable poise and tenacity, coming back from an 35-0 deficit. The defense showed it was playing for keeps. Tulane's Marvin Lewis discovered that the hard way, compliments of all-ACC tackle Dan Benish. And later, compliments of one of the Brewers brothers, William Devane. That's all the Clemson offense needed. Five plays later, Cliff Austin crashed over from four yards out for what proved to be the only touchdown of the game. In the third quarter, All-American Terry Kennard came up with perhaps the pivotal play of the game when he picked off a Wade Elmore pass at the one-yard line and ran it back 16 yards to get the Tigers out of deep trouble. When it was all over, each starting defensive back had intercepted a pass, a first in Clemson history. With four minutes left in the game, Tulane took over at its own 16, needing only a touchdown on a two-point play to tie. But instead of yielding, the Tiger defense reeled off three straight sacks to squelch any dreams of a miracle tidal wave by the Green Wave. First, Jeff Davis, who had a season-high 20 tackles in the game. Then Joe Glenn. And finally, Edgar Pickett, bringing about a fourth and 40 for Tulane. Tulane never saw the ball again. 